Oh, onwards with the new character configuration. Blurry background. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to make out details on it. There's like a giant rabid statue, I think. Is that a rabid? I think so. Oops. Missed it. Alright, All right, Luigi, show us what you, show us what you can do. Oh my god, they have a lot on their side. It's actually interesting seeing this color scheme and seeing the camera pan around like that and seeing the overall, like, battlefield that, like, it's interesting how much this reminds me of, of Advance Wars now. There's another game, another similar strategy, tile-based game you had to play on, on, uh, Nintendo platforms, but did not have cover systems like this. Not quite, not, not the, in the blatantly XCOM sort of way. That's where we'll continue afterwards. Let's see, there's four enemies that have the high ground, only one pipe that leads here. Maybe Luigi can pick them off one by one from the distance, but they're all behind cover, so it's probably not looking great. So probably didn't want to need to... The only one of them even has bad cover out of all of them. Uh, we're probably going to want to storm this as fast as possible while, while getting behind various full covers and flanking these enemies as we go in. Okay. First, let's try out Luigi. Look at that. Multiple weapon options here. Top Gear. You can pick who it'll go after. 100% chance of hitting that guy. So that gives him a low, uh, a close range viability option there. As opposed to just using long range attacks. We can take out local people with his drone character and then shoot, uh, snipe long range targets. But not any of the ones here. He doesn't have that kind of range. Okay. Can anyone- oh, so none of us can reach them right now. Unfortunately. Does that work as cover from you guys? I think it does, yeah. Yeah, I think this I think this works as cover because none of them can get this, get this far to the side. If I can fire on you. Yeah, might as well use Hero Sight. Round might be long enough for it to actually replenish later. So you can't reach Mario. Wait, I've got to remind myself, you don't have double jump yet, right? Yeah, I was, I was briefly taking into account the idea that she, that she, that he has that, but he doesn't have that skill till later in the game, most likely. I can't reach any of the enemies from here. Maybe I'll open with this attack. Curious about it because he seems to be sitting on it. Does that mean that he'll ride it over there? No. Okay, he just presses it. I knew that was what the what, I knew that was what the drone was supposed to do, but I was slightly confused because it looked like he was sitting on it. So I'm like, is he gonna ride it? Because then it's a movement skill, and I should treat it as such. But no, is not the case. Not tons of great options here for movement. I might be able to get a good spot if I use if I move you first. Hi, friend. Oh, I just shot my own cover and didn't hit him at all. Good job. But you can be reached, which means Luigi can get behind cover. Except for this guy right here. But good cover from everybody else. And then next round, he can probably start shooting at everybody else. And now I got two people in Overwatch, so this guy, if he moves, is probably gonna get shot twice. Or he'll just not- or he'll not move. Ow. Did he hit me again? Ow. Is that a counterattack? Whoa, where are you going? Right. But we're behind cover, so it worked out. Should be able to start storming them soon, especially if I can throw people up there. Oh, there goes our cover. But she can u she can jump on Luigi and go right up there and just start attacking them directly. 
Now, uh-uh. It gave me a little advantage here, which is that I can approach from this side, because this is good cover, because they can't go this far to the left. They can't flank me on that side. Let's see, so you can't use the drone for one more turn. He has high damage attacks, by the way. Can I bounce off you, then hit Luigi? Oh, that's great. Which gets me to behind the full cover up here. Yay! Sup? How you doing? Oof! That's not good. That's not good for you at all. I can use you to flank. I guess his Overwatch never really came into handy, and it, it does look like it, uh... The cooldown triggers even it. Oh wait, no, no, never mind. Both of them did shoot. I forgot. So scratch that entire line of of uh, thought, because it totally did trigger, and they both teamed up on that guy and took him down. Zero percent chance. Fifty percent chance. I may just need to take the fifty. Whoa! Goodbye. I like- I think- I think Luigi's immediately my favorite character in this game. Because the drone-sniper combo is, like, exactly what I would want. <laughs> and he has Overwatch? He has everything I want on a character. That's a ton of versatility immediately. And he was already my favorite character before I played as him. Because he's just Luigi. He's the best character. <laughs> Do I even need to move, or can I just shoot him from here, actually? 50% chance is not ideal. And that's not gonna reach. If I go over here, it's still a 50% chance, so... yay. So there's no real reason to move, unless I want to specifically use the drone. Which would be effective. Ooh. Here's an idea, what if Peach can get over there? Let's see, let me double check real quick. Luigi can get right to that cover. Can she reach that cover? Oh, no. I was thinking maybe I'd... No, no, the range isn't nearly as much as I was hoping. I was thinking I'd bounce off of this guy and then go over to cover and then launch Luigi over. Nope. Doesn't even come close to working out that way. So let's just take a shot. Mario can sneak in. And maybe finish it? Yep. I was prepping to jump Luigi off of Mario, then use the rocket car to take him out, but not needed. I want to do it, though. I did. I'll just have to do it more in the future. I'm gonna use that rocket car so much. You gave me a remote-controlled explosive and a sniper and overwatch on the same character. I don't need other characters. Can I just duplicate him? Make a whole party of him? <laughs> There's the heal. So that'll that'll heal Mario double if we get that other upgrade. I think I already adore this game. Uh-oh. It's the scary dog. It's the scary dog from Miyamoto's childhood. If my readings are accurate, that's a chain chomp. It may be asleep now, but as soon as it senses our presence, it will wake up, eager to bite us. Or if one of those enemies... Or one of those enemies, really a Chain Chomp doesn't discriminate. It'll just zero in on the closest target. The good news is, the Chain Chomp will only charge once we have completed our turn. So that's interesting. I've been waiting to see when enemies like this show up. So it'll attack the closest target when it's, a, when it's made aware. But only between turns, so not during our turn. It won't, like, catch us immediately. So we can run through its area, but we don't, don't want to stop in its area. I can't tell what its area of attack is, though. It is chained, presumably, so you'd expect it to only be able to move a certain distance, but I don't know how big that distance is yet. So I can't highlight it, which is weird. Maybe I can highlight it when it wakes up, and then we'll learn from there. But this is what I'm looking forward to, like, chain chomps... 
It's chain chomps and jump moves and uh, warp pipes are like why I was hyped about there being like a Mario style XCOM type thing is like I'm like oh that's where we start breaking the rules basically because X XCOM was on some level kind of oh well, he'd immediately wake up X XCOM was grounded on some level this is not grounded remotely which means that it could be a tactics game but it's totally ungrounded in reality and they can make up whatever crazy mechanics they want which is surprisingly uncommon a lot of tactics games are based around being in some universe that has more grounded rules than this. I guess Disgaea comes a little closer to being weird, but even Disgaea is like, honestly kind of tame. Or at least it's not exciting in the ways that I am thinking about here. So the good news is they tell you the guy's range, because he reacts when you enter it immediately. So right now he seems to be fixated on this guy, and if I walk into r closer range, I'll be the one in trouble. So I'm going to want to avoid that, like, at all costs by hiding behind characters and maybe even trying to knock them towards the enemy. So I should stay behind cover. I kind of want to be careful and not, like, shoot that guy too much on the right, or he might change targets when I don't want him to. Oh, that's not good. We tried. Bounce off you. Yeah, so we can, unfortunately I don't have the move where I can bounce onto somebody. But this gives me the option to flank. Dodge this. Can I hit this character from here? So I could hit him, and then dash away. Just to do some bonus damage. We don't know how much damage we'll take from the Chain Chomp, though. It might not be worth even damaging him, because he might just be doomed by the very virtue of where he's ended up right now. Oop. So that's the aggro range for you. I think I'm going to take half cover, just to not be stacking up on my characters. And I can hit everybody, but I've got a 100% chance of hitting those guys. I, I should punish that guy for being in the open. You thought you were out of range. Whoops. Bye. Doesn't even play a sound because he's so far away. I am a winner. If the guy on the left moves, he's probably going to get shot by both of the Mario brothers and get taken out. Oh, he's not chained. Oh. Oh, that's... I, I made a core failure of assumption here in that the Chain Chomp is not, in fact, uh, chained. <laughs> you can see how I'd get that one wrong, the part about whether or not the Chain Chomp is chained. But he's not chained at all, he just has a chain hanging off him and that's it. So, um, that's bad. Oh, cool, that guy just ran towards the Chain Chomp and got honeyed, so I can just avoid the damage this turn from that. We can just leave him alive and the Chain Chomp will take care of it. Oh, that's an interesting mechanic. So it'll, ch so it'll chase you all over the map then. Okay. That changes things a bit. Ooh, are you guys next to each other? You guys are next to each other, aren't you? Yeah, I'll take half cover just to make sure that I'm in range for the, uh, what I'm planning on doing, which is blowing you up. Yep. You guys went and shared cover. Mistake. Eh, we don't need we don't need cover. If I if I can take them out, then we don't need cover. We can just shoot them. Oh. Never mind, the damage wasn't where I was hoping it'd be. I can't hit you that way. I wanna hit you that way. Too bad that doesn't work. I can bounce clear to the other side, which really screws with things for them. I can't defeat you, but I can finish you off, even though it's a total waste of the health values. Eh. 
This way they only get a chance to attack once. Now he's doomed, and the chain chomp should aggro on this guy, who is just bait, because he got honey to the ground right in front of it. That's perfect. Bye bye. Oh, that that is gonna be an interesting enemy to see in, in combat scenarios. With that with him running around just chasing whoever's closest the entire round. Oh, you really just did that to yourself, didn't you? Boy, that was an interesting call you just made. Spike? You celebrate your victory now, but that Chain Chomp is loose, and he's coming for you. I'm a wiener. Yeah! We're still getting basically perfect scores every round, apparently. We'll see how long that lasts. I'm not really a perfect scores kind of person. <laughs> Don't know if you put that together. I wonder what Peach does then. Looking at what uh, Luigi does. Oh. Uh oh. Broken bridge ahead. I guess we need to find an alternative uh, alternative to continue on our path. What do we do? Oh no. Nobody. If only we like specialized in jumping or something in this game. You know this character that was originally named Jump Man. <laughs> <laughs> no, we could never jump over that broken bridge. Never never had a history of doing that in our games. Isn't that right, Mario? Oh, it toggles. That goes to the blue. I probably want to press the blue, so let's go over there. Aha! Interesting. Interesting, but not helpful. I need it to face the other way, so I probably don't want to hit blue then. Let's switch it back. We'll try switching you next. What does red do? Just switch you back to there. Right, that's my final goal. Right, so switching, so switching both blue and red is how I get to my final goal. It gets me across. I need to go this way while it's like this in order to get the chest. It's a rabbit plant. I forgot what it was called and I didn't read re it. was a per rabbit plant, I think? Oh, hello. That was an 8-inch bubble wand in our world. Now it's 80 feet. We'll have to bring over a burrito next time. I was gonna say that. That's like a giant children's story. Is that a maze in the middle that also has rabbit ears in it? Because of course it is. Maybe we'll have to navigate that maze at some point. What if that's a blueprint of a maze that happens later in the game and now then this is like our clue? Oops. I saw the prompt that thought it might be new, but it was not. Now we can go back across. You guys having fun down there? <sighs> I don't want to tell them what that sponge was used for back home. It ruined their fun. So have we poisoned this entire water supply then with that sponge? Should, it be, should we, we be alerting the princess about like this environmental hazard? Wow. Escape. Oh, wow, it really... You get this prompt everywhere. I keep thinking that it's a new one because I'm facing all these different directions. Whoops. I heard sound effect. Was it just... Maybe it was saving or something. By the way, did we get more points? Oops. We did get more points, okay. So now I can give you a sentry. Or the heal. Doubling on sentries would be pretty nice though, I like the sentries a lot. 
Dialus dash, being able to dash through multiple targets, or heal. Let's do the multi-dash. I want to grab something new, I think. Give that a shot. Give, I like the idea of like I want I like the sentry, so I like giving it to more characters, but I also want to get certain skills that nobody else has for increased versatility overall. Cleansing jump. Heroes overcome by a super effect are restored when Mario performs a team jump on them. Oh. So Mario can just cancel an effect on somebody that way. That's pretty cool. But I also like the the other options here a bit. Let's see. Oh wow, this there's a these get expensive. Dash damage can be upgraded over and over again to be a plus 40 eventually. Plus 20, plus 20, plus 30, plus 40. It's a lot of dash damage. But the damage is going to go way up there. Stomp damage. A stomp range and stomp damage. Wow. You can really invest in some really heavy damage bonuses here. But they, do these all require me to get the skill first? No. They're all connected at the same time, so I don't have to get Cleansing Jump if I don't want to. Let's get the melee weapon next. There you go. You have a shorter cooldown, only one turn cooldown on weekend, so you could basically spam it. Which is pretty good, because then you could be using it, uh... That's 80, that costs 80 though, despite having a one pip. Oh, so the number of pips is how many individual upgrades are in that slot. It doesn't reflect the uh, cost at all. Made a minor misjudgment there. So you can't afford anything for now. But yeah, so if you save up 80, you can get this, which means that they'll be able to use Weaken every other turn, which could be really effective. Hey, Luigi. You probably can't afford anything either. Oh. High ground bonus increases damage dealt by Luigi when hol holding the high ground, which makes sense for a sniper character. And then Golden Shot uh, Plus gives Luigi more coins on a successful Golden Shot. So, multiple good things here. Okay. 135% damage. Yeah, let's maybe start building up that advantage for that character. Gives uh, Luigi an incentive to be a, a uh, an up-high sniper. There we go. I see you hiding back here. Hey, 3D model for Luigi. Because we can't tell what he looks like. Most, most, one of the most iconic characters ever. Never figure it out. You dare read in my presence? There's a tiny plaque here from the artist that reads, Rabbit building a log cabin. I wonder what that means. Building a log cabin by reading? Oh, he's pooping. That's a... He's pooping. That's a- that's a toilet paper roll. That someone carved out of stone? World 1-7, do you stack up? Like a Scrabble board looking place? Look at this place. There's these little gems all over the place. That, I wonder if those do something. There's like little ones and then more exploded out, like exposed big ones too. Oh, I see the block down here. Oh. Oh, you still can't push things, so I can't? Yeah. Get the ability to push blocks already. This is, you're taunting me for this for a little too long now. The most basic thing. Ah, Link doesn't need to learn how to push blocks. Why don't you be more like Link? Ah, oh, five's not so bad. Is there more than five? Ah, it says there's five. Maybe more will spawn and I just have to defeat five of them total. So there's two up here. Probably want to get Luigi there as fast as possible for a a damage bonus, or there. Although, if all the enemies are up here, it's pointless. Does the cannon work during combat? I don't think it does. There's three here. Oh, that's that's a whole other level down there. So, more enemies must spawn or something, because there's only 
three of them visible right now. The other ones are super secret or something. Okay, so that's the pipe. If you want to ram them or attack them directly, that's what we do. Might want to catapult somebody up there to attack that guy. Okay. Let's see, I probably can't... Yeah, I'm not going to be able to flank them with this one character's movement, but I can take cover here. And then I can use that opportunity to use Luigi, who will then launch up here. Getting full cover for against that team. And also the option to use Top Gear here to destroy this guy. It's called the Boom Broom. <laughs> It just straight up does more damage, although this does, although this does have the spring attack. 60% chance of spring. I might want to take that chance. Do I have better options here? 50%. And broken line of sight. Okay. Is it better to use the bomb or not? I'll try, the, I'll try for the spring chance. I failed the spring chance. Okay. Time to play! Time to play! Ah, uh, did the game just freeze? Oh, weird. It, like, struggled really hard for a second there. Not the best chance of hitting this dude. Not ideal. I just wanted to see if I can take him out. It's only a 30 to 40, so it might not take him out unless it also not only hits, but also crits. The button masher. Can I get to the input of the pipe? Nope, but I can get it right up here. Which is kind of interesting, because it gets me right in range to attack. What chance of hitting the guy on the left? Hard to tell for sure. I'm gonna press the attack, let's just go for it. Overwatch will help out a little bit. Oh, the melee attack works like this? Oh, that's interesting. It's like an AoE. That's interesting. Could I have hit the other guy? No, I couldn't have. Okay. Yeah, this is interesting. You're in trouble. Come and get me. And I might be able to finish you off. Yep, critical. That was about as lucky as it gets. I probably don't need to use the damage reduction then. It's unlikely she'll be attacked this turn, given the other options. Oop. Wah, wah, wah. That didn't trigger... The Overwatch move, huh? Oh, there we go. Oof. Oof. Bye. Double hit from the same person, and they can hit him when they're in midair? Brutal. You can juggle them in midair in slow motion. I can double hit him, then go behind cover, then shoot him. Not double hit him, but I mean, I can go all the way over here and hit him. Then fire. Lucky. That's pretty lucky. See, you're probably not even in. Nope. No line of sight established right now. Don't know where the next enemies are going to show up. Don't know if I should move. I mean, this gives me the most vantage points for the whole map, I think. Also, might be in range to shoot this guy. Nope. Does the honey get me if I hit him here? Bye. You guys got more enemies for me or what? <laughs> this is actually a little weird how there's like no one here. Oh, there they go. Oh, they are everywhere. Okay. You can't attack them at all? Can't even send like the top gear towards them? Uh oh. This is not happy time. Maybe if I was prepped to use my, uh... Maybe if I was prepped to use my Overwatch or something, but no, this is not a great time. 
can't even really take cover from them. Might need to get down from here, even though this is like a really good place to be. No, nah, there's not really great cover here anyway, and I'm just going to be relinquishing my high ground. To be potentially in danger. I'm just going to take cover from the other guy. Be ready. And if Peach does this right, we can jump off you and be ready. At the very least. How are you guys doing? They're ho they're, they'll hopefully be busy with Luigi. Let's get full cover. And if nothing else, I can at least get ready to use Mario later. To, Cause I could, I could use, I could, I could send Mario down to jump off Peach to get up top. That's all we can do now. So do they get, they probably get a proper chance to attack, right? Yeah, so they get the first move. And cover didn't work out. Should have used the barrier then. Alright, well this kind of gives me a whole new problem to worry about. So now, I, now I've learned things that I should, about what I should consider when there's going to be enemies that spawn later. Because their behavior is something that I need to worry about now. This Wow, this will really just chase people. It'll even find a way to that guy eventually, it just probably would take like every turn. <laughs> it would just take an eternity to do with it. Weird how he can collect coins for me, basically. Let's take cover. And overwatch. Come and get it. Probably help Luigi because he's got the least help right now. I have a 100% chance of hitting this guy. Can't do much with that guy. Let's see, can I reach Peach like I was thinking? Yes. That would send me up here. There we go. 100% chance of hit. Come on. Oh, that's not what I was going for. There we go. That's what I was hoping for for the other one. Alright. This will reduce the incoming damage. Best I can do for now. All the way up there, huh? You have a 100% chance? Really? It seems like you had to shoot through physical objects to make that shot. Wait, yeah, how is that a 100% chance of hitting? That should have definitely been a blocked line of sight. There's no way he could hit Mario from there. Ow. At least that he that time he had to lean off the side of the level, so at least it made more sense. Uh oh. Okay, so I just need to I just need to get enough kills though, so we're good. So they start spawning fast. But five KOs is all you need. All right, I probably could have done better there. Constant selfie bubble gum, rabbit peach is kind of amazing. <laughs> Like, they're, she thinks she's cosplaying. It's like each of them thinks they're cosplaying as the character. But they have no idea how to behave like said character, so they're like, they're generally like, way off. Alright, so there's options for getting around here. But none of them give me those secrets, unfortunately. Whoop, where are we going this time? Oh, here. Here we go. What is that? 